What is up, lads, and welcome back to the Pez Universe podcast, or maybe we'll have to rebrand to the eFootball podcast soon, but uh, yeah, I mean, we're back, we're back, we're uh, hopefully going to have a good conversation again, I know this has been something that a lot of you guys have probably been waiting for, so apologies that it's taken us a while before you start listening to this. I'm joined, of course, by the main man himself, Weza FC, what's the crack, man? Hey, it feels like a cup final, this does, <laughs> my nerves are jangling, <laughs> my palms are sweaty, literally, I'm, I'm ready to rock and roll, but yeah, uh, yeah. we've a lot to discuss. I'm, I'm, mate, we, we have, we very much have, and I, and, and I know that there is quite a few people out there who are ready to hear what we have to, to exactly. say and probably what we have to think on this, but we, we, we'll, I'm sure we will get into all different types of topics at yeah. the moment, but uh, I'll, I'll lend it to you, seeing as I did, and I, I will say this after, out of the gate, folks, I did such a bad job this week. <laughs> like, I'm not even going to lie. And and, and I, I looked a little bit like I was being held hostage. It was like there was somebody like outside my door who was like basically going, you better record this, Wes, otherwise you're, you know, we are going to take some different family members away from you. That's what that's what it looked like. And yeah, I'm I'm not a very good main host, folks. Like, So I, I humbly apologise for, for the quality of last week's podcast. Um, or last, last, the last podcast. Um, but yeah, so we're, we're back, and, and Baz is back in the driving seat. Yeah, so I'm, I'm, way more <laughs> I'm way more comfortable. No, man, it's all it's all good. We we uh, I mean, we've we've taken our time in getting this one out because I think obviously what we try and do on the podcast is, and I think it's something that like a lot uh, for for what people like from listening to people, you know, and their feedback and stuff. We do try to take feedback on board and like. You know, we want to have a podcast which is for for everyone. Like there yeah. is people out there that, believe it or not, shock horror are enjoying you know the game that it's out. I mean, it's yeah. we'll get into it in yeah. a while, but there is people that enjoyed Pez twenty twenty, enjoyed Pez twenty twenty one. There's also people that listen to the podcast that despise every single thing that's happened and gone out and released in the last two to three years, and just listen in with the hopes of you know hearing Wes go on a famous rant of his or. You know, hearing our frustrations, hearing our positives or negatives and whatever. So, like, yeah. we do want to keep it as like, um, you know, like a podcast, which is yeah, which is like, <laughs> there is a lot, and especially tonight. I mean, yeah, you know, what is needs to be called out and what needs to be criticized and talked about negatively. Like, you know, we don't hide behind that. I mean, we call it as it is, and then obviously the stuff that we we do try to look a little bit more so. Me, I think that I try to look. Uh, you know a light at the end of the tunnel <laughs> even though that light now yeah. i'm kind of walking around like this kind of half half uh squinting. trying to find the trying to find the batteries for the torch that's what so you're trying <sighs> to find it yeah man it's rough it's rough i mean it's <laughs> it's it's going to be a tough podcast for me because there's a lot of stuff you know i want to i want to talk about as well but um yeah i mean look we all we all listen to pez we've all either loved pez at one stage or e-football you know maybe yeah. we'll never love e-football with the direction that it's going but you know, until that day comes, I think, you know, we just, we, we do what we do. Because we do, you know, I love I love having the chat with you, Wes, as well, and catching up with people. Yeah. Um. I mean, eventually we do want to bring it live. You know, once we have all our setup, I'm kind of nearly, my setup is nearly done now. So we will be going live streaming as well, the podcast, to get people involved, which will be fun. But um, yeah, I'm very much looking forward to that when that happens. Because yeah. Because, again, it, it, it provides almost live feedback. Where exactly, you, yeah. You can bring people into the conversation. Yeah. And, you know, it's... It, it adds a completely different dimension to this. I mean, we we went from being audio only to now being video, mm -hmm. so it's kind of like the natural kind of progression, which is great. Yeah. And, and again, it will bring us kind of closer to to you guys who listen to this, to people who watch this on YouTube. It it, it then kind of brings it even closer together. So you will end up being able to, you know, physically interact with us, not just tweet at us or, or leave uh, YouTube comments. <laughs> but uh, but no, yeah. yeah we I mean, can attack and, and people just, head on then, you know. We I mean, can... yeah, I mean, and, and again, just a small small point on that, because I, 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 I read the comments religiously, um, not through the fact that I just sit there and search my own name. I'm not that vain. <laughs> Google and Weser um, FC. <laughs> no, yeah, yeah, Google and Weser FC in the hope that somebody said something nice about me. No, um, but like I, I went into the YouTube comments last week. Um, I had uh, Twitter interactions with people last week. And, and listen, I am all there for the discussion. I am all there for, if you have an opinion that is different to mine, I am very much happy to talk about it. I don't need to get into a, 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 a an angry argument with you. Like, I'm not trying to beat you over the head with my opinion. Um, I am literally just there, either A, looking for feedback, or B, just trying to understand the point of view. Because ultimately, it will make the podcast better, and it will make my understanding of what the opposite side mm. of my opinion is yeah. and it will it, it makes it far more because i know i might learn something and go 
well, hey, actually, I didn't even look at it like that. Yeah, and then I'll roll into this and go, oh, well, actually, Barry, did you think about it yeah. like this? And like, and all of a sudden, it opens that <laughs> up as a different dimension. So, yeah, you definitely. know, again, don't don't think that if I reply to you in a YouTube comment, or if I reply to you on Twitter, or if I reply to you anywhere, even in my live streams, don't think that I'm going to be sitting there beating you over the head with my opinion. I literally just want to talk. That's exactly. it. I, I'm not, not in the sense of I want you to come outside and talk, as in like <laughs> I literally just want to chat. That's Catch it. Me outside. That's, it. That's all I'm going to do. Yeah. yeah man. Catch me outside. I yeah, no, I agree much. because at the end of the day, I mean, we're like any anybody that's listening to this or watching this or whatever. Like, I mean, you you guys could be doing this podcast. I mean, it just happens to be that you know we did start the podcast with the view of it just being audio only. It was literally just me and Wes chatting um but i do you know i like when people you know i like when people call me out on things and say you know if they want to have a conversation about it and say well you know one of the biggest ones we're going to talk about tonight is last week's you know, the last podcast when i was kind of saying the positives about pez and what i actually played at windsor compared to i mean the debacle that released a few days ago i yeah. mean it was, it's it's yeah. as for personally for me um who's somebody that's actually played the game and I know what I played, and you know, for that to be questioned and stuff, that's totally on point because people deserve to question me and not just accept that what I said is gospel. You know what I mean? Like I like when people call me out and say, you know, well, like what did you play? Like you know, maybe you're lying, maybe you're just talking, you know, crap. Maybe you're trying to suck up to Konami. Maybe you don't want to criticize things. And it's like, well, I don't want to go back and forth with people on Twitter when we're doing the podcast. You know, this is a forum where. Me and you can chat, we can expand on topics, we can expand on things rather than just be, you know, limited to a couple of tweets where it's like, oh, I didn't mean to, you know, I didn't mean to write it that way or I can see where I came across as aggressive or whatever. Yeah. Um, you know, because I'm more of a talker than a kind of a, you know, a texter anyway. I like talking and stuff. So, yeah, man, I mean, I just want to get into it because like at the end of the day, um, I think this year, and we've said this throughout the, throughout the year with the podcast, like, Somebody that has been on the fence whether to jump off the Pez bandwagon for the last, what, maybe four or five years of disappointment if they haven't been happy with it. Like, they've now got their chance, you know what I mean? Because what was served up to us with the demo, um, I mean, you know me and as I said, I like to talk and you know me, and, like we talk a lot and I never shut up. But I was genuinely speechless for about two days. I didn't, I just couldn't believe like what I was actually playing you know yeah. like look there was some there was a couple of positives there was a couple of things that i was like mm, yeah i can see you know some one or two things i mean about half the people listening to podcasts are now switched off but uh no <laughs> there, there was like there was one or two things but overall i mean yeah. you know the delivery of it you know the, the silence you know the non-communication i mean i mean man yeah. i genuinely was speechless you know from going back and forth on whatsapp like i was actually baffled at, at at the decision to release what they released and then i i'm still i'm still a little bit even though i've had a, have had a few days to think about it i'm still kind of like you know what did i play at windsor then like what is going on why was that released like wh what's 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 happening like what is going on here i mean we've been here before we said it in last week's podcast my biggest fear was you know, and it's why a wise man once said to me, this guy here, said, you know, preface everything that I did by, you know, when I went to E3 the first time, I was like, oh, yeah. the game is amazing, you know, it's yeah. so slow. <laughs> and then the game came out, the demo came out a few months later and people were like, oh, well, you know, Barry was obviously lying about that. Um, yeah. <laughs> because the game does change, I mean, it, it, throughout development, but like, I man, I'm still a little, even though I'm talking about it out loud now, I'm still a little shocked at how bad the last week has been um i'm i'm baffled like i'm still baffled I, I i even though i have everything planned out what i'm going to say i'm still just thinking about it in real time and talking about it in real time which you know yeah. here well i'm like this was the this is the thing it was it was if we go from the, the the kind of the very jump of of the 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 e football launch uh, we have waxed lyrical about about the marketing I, i'm i'm boxing that off now I, i've i've beaten that drum to death i have you know flog the dead horse like that's fine that's yeah, done I'm, I'm done with that <laughs> what i am now focused on is obviously the game now yeah. again when I, I was on the phone to you for i think it was about two hours i think it was on on the day that launch yeah and i booted it up and bear in mind i had seen streamers i had seen content creators i think spoonie had like a seven hour stream of it then had, had a stream of it um and i was like okay is it this bad or is it something that was blown out of proportion 
And I don't think it was blown out of no, proportion. No, I don't think so, all. no. no. At all. No. At no point did I sit there in the th in the two and a half hours that I played with it on that day. Bear in mind, I have tried to go back to it since because I was like, well, actually, let me try and do this. And then it, it still didn't vibe for me. Mm. Uh, but th from Jump, it's version 0.9. Yep. Like, uh, I, I think I think I, I even mentioned this in my live stream. I, I was tuned into to Trogan Ash, who was... Who was uh, kind of on on Twitch doing it or or playing it, and even he said from a from a software standpoint, which yeah. I totally agree with him, you don't go with anything or release anything to market that is not version one point mm. If it's not version if it's not if it's not version one point it means you're not happy with it yet. Yeah. So either that's a clear signal that the people who made the decision aren't happy with it, or they've made a mistake, they put out the wrong thing, and that's that. Now, the only thing I would say here is that. None of that matters anymore. No, because because the game literally became a meme within about three hours. Yeah, oh man. because in those three hours, I saw Naruto running from Ansu Fati. <laughs> uh, Ter shout out to Terror Hawk who who does listen to these podcasts on the regular. Uh, he sent me a video of going. Now I understand. Uh, you know, oh, uh, when you pass to a poltergeist in eFootball, he plays a backward pass, and somebody who is completely invisible controls it yeah man um i sent you clips into whatsapp groups and whatnot of uh, really bad animation bugs mm. where you know i mean we've seen you know what looked like from the exorcist where like people's heads have turned around their limbs have gone through their body like it's it's just it's 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 almost it's comical yeah and, and I, I understand the whole preface of oh well you know if you get publicity it's great and all mm. oh, we're trending not in this instance. No, I think this is you a do step not, too far. Yeah, you don't want to be trending when you've got the likes of IGN, you had Eurogamer, you had every big website under the sun. I think Carrasco even mentioned about the fact that it had made Spanish television. Yeah, like, yeah. There's, like, you've got French TV that's, that's covering this. You've got TV who was covering all of this. And I don't think I've universally seen the outrage that I'd seen before. Yeah. Normally it's never just for a PES community. game. Never for a PES yeah. game anyway. It's not it's normally the community kicks off. But mainstream kind of goes, ah, oh, we'll let it be. Yeah. Like oh, it's just okay. PES, niche. But I think because they've took this stance of oh it's free to play, mm. I think there's so much more of a beam of light on them because everyone's looking for it to be that alternative. Mm. And it just fell so far wide of the mark. Mm. And the fact that it went pretty much radio sun on twitter yeah the fact that it it you know you've had several people making several really bold claims on on social media um obviously you can go ahead and research them yourself um but to go down that route and to be that kind of negative but then also then have the mainstream come in and be negative mm. i've never seen anything like it not not you know this this is as about as no man's sky <laughs> as you can get for a game's release that's not no man's sky yeah it's a game that looks to have promised so much early but now looks like it is actually going to be that it's almost like and i think it might have been magic magic man that that, that made this reference no man's sky made this type of release acceptable mm. like cyberpunk made cyberpunk, this type yeah. of release acceptable yeah. this isn't acceptable on any stretch if this was any game in the world mm had this release i'd be panning it it just so happens it's the game that i am vehemently a fan of mm. and that and that is the part that kind of wrangles me yeah a lot because you know as you said when it when it does go when it does move there are tiny positives yeah, yeah the, there's the, a few the, rays the, of sunshine there that definitely yeah, is tiny rays of sunshine the, the major ray of sunshine for me is that there's literally nowhere it can go other than up. <laughs> unless unless we click on it one day and it just doesn't start and it just goes oh we've encountered an error yeah. then it's like okay right okay that that's literally it cannot get any worse from this baseline mm. but as we have mentioned before how long are you waiting for it to get to the level you want it to get to yeah and 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 you know like we said you know, the, the, it was just, it's the state of it as a whole. Mm. It, it, it's the package as a whole. Yeah. And now we can review what we have here, because as we'll probably get into later on, I don't believe for a one second that that is what was positively reviewed, or not positively reviewed, that's the wrong word. But if, if that's not the one that had the reception of, yeah, actually, it's fine. This this works. This is okay. This yeah, we can see bits that that can can go. I don't imagine P 
people seen that there looked like a, you know a referee that looked like he'd been hit by a Donkey Kong barrel that had been thrown out and he'd just been squashed into the the, the turf. I don't think anybody's seen that at Windsor. No, man. And, uh, do you know what I mean? Yeah. And it's like to, you can't retro retroactively kind of fit that narrative to this. Mm. Um, and I think and I think it would be kind of a little bit disingenuous to do so. Yeah. So I, I would say I would say to to kind of back up the guys that went to Windsor. I, I don't I don't follow that narrative of well this is the version that they played and they told me that this was going to be okay. It's it's more a case of well hold on a minute how has this one come to pass but that one's not available mm. yet and how how is it that we've previewed a, that one but it's not here like that that's that's my thought process. Mm. But I suppose as we've said before it depends on your uh, outlook uh, on on things whether you are the the pessimist or the optimist. Yeah, of course, but that that's the thing man i mean that's that's what's frustrated me the most because i did kind of foresee this coming the minute i heard right and i've been around the block a while i mean i've played early versions of the game before when i when i was in windsor and when i was playing it in windsor like and you know people can people can go back and, and listen to the previous podcast or check the tweets or whatever where i've talked about it in a thread or i've talked about it in the podcast or whatever like you know, I, 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 I like to keep whatever I say, like, you know, public, the same as what I would say to private. You know what I mean? So before yeah, I could yeah. even speak about the game publicly and I was under embargo, um, I mean, I had had my own thoughts where I was writing them down and I was kind of jotting them down and thinking, yeah, you know, what worked, what didn't. I had ba- basic notes and whatever. Yeah. yeah. Um, you know, and when we recorded the podcast and whatever, and we were prepping stuff, I mean, I had that same kind of you know, like, feeling about the Windsor build that I played, and, you know, we, like, we know for a fact, before you question anything, we know for a fact that it was a different build, like, people can question whether it was a different build, like, massively different, or it was, you know, like, so so small that it was, it wasn't worth talking about, right, there's different, you know, things coming out, whatever, um, but we know it was a different build, because, you know, there was features in this release that weren't in the Windsor build, and vice versa. You know, we had the sharp kick, we had the power modifiers, and all that sort of stuff. The teammate press was in this one as well, wasn't it? Yeah. The, so the, the, the teammate the press, the teammate press is like I thought the, the, the L two button in this build to me was the biggest difference. Like than I played at Windsor. Now, like some people have asked me, and rightfully so, they were saying, you know, like you know, I said on the podcast that the graphics were fine. Like I've said to you, we even had a laugh about it. We were just there, like you know, you were like, you know, but is fine fine you know it's fine good yeah, enough yeah, yeah, yeah. and yeah, i but... said yeah but that's what the game is i mean it's a pez game you know it's a pez game like some of the yeah. faces look amazing i stand over that like even the release that's out at the moment some of the faces look really good you know what i mean like i thought pogba neuer they look good obviously then we have messi and ronaldo who don't look you know what they should look um and there's some disaster faces there as well but like uh, i mean the windsor build was not finished in my opinion like i fed back and i said it on the podcast i said that the overwhelming feeling i had from the windsor build was a lot done a lot more to do and that it was fine what i had played was fine it was playable it was sprinkles of fun in between it you know the crowd look okay the atmosphere sounded okay you know i was very i don't think i was too hot or too cold i was kind of like and that's what it felt like um there was some brilliance in the Windsor build as well that I thought that it was like, yeah, the manual defending to me was my biggest worry, you know, and I even said to you that I was worried that they were going to switch to manual defending more automatic. Um, yeah. And in this one, you know, it seems to be the case where in this build that we're playing to release at the moment is like you hold L2 and you just barrel through the player, you know, there's arms flying, spaghetti legs, everything yeah. is happening. Um, there's no laws of physic there. There's no giants in players' bones or their arms or whatever. Um, Stop playing with a bunch of stretch Armstrongs, right? Yeah, I mean it's <laughs> it's just you know what I mean. Like that's that's why I was so because I played the demo and I was I was talking to Karen in a party chat at at the same time as talking. It was about three o'clock in the morning and we downloaded it and we were playing it and you know Kara was like, uh, I need to send you a video and I was like, okay, and he's like, <laughs> sent me a little ten second clip of like the players like. And I yeah. was like, what the hell? So then I went into my first game. And I'd say within the first, like, five minutes, I saw about two or three bugs. Like, I saw the ball hovering for a corner. Like, I saw the goalkeeper standing, like, about 10 yards away from a kickout and then transporting over to, like, make contact with the ball. Like, whatever about what we said 
at Windsor and you can take you know your favorite content creator or your favorite streamer or your favorite media guys that spoke about the Windsor build you know what I mean none of us mentioned the issues that we saw on release day here yeah. right like the defending the R2 the lack of R2 and the sharp kick you know the physicality the sound the graphics that's all in my opinion slightly open to interpretation that you know, some people went and thought the graphics were absolutely like proper, proper next gen. I said to you, I didn't think they were proper next gen. I thought they looked fine. We go yeah. back to that word. Um, yeah. You know, some people thought that the pace of the game was faster uh, at Windsor and more zippier, you know, compared to this. But I think dim things are all open to interpretation. That's fine. You know what I mean? Everyone has a different opinion. But well, that's the reason why you've got, that's yeah. the reason why you had many different people giving, yeah. giving different takes because. Again, that there was almost a, a, a like almost like there was like a a kind of a concurrent thread that went through all of those impressions, which was it wasn't it wasn't like oh well every you know there's people who are widely you know kind of negative or positive. It was very much like there was the part there was the parts where people were going, yeah, this is this is really good, and then they would still come back to the here's here's the downside to yeah, this. Yes, of course. And then you would, but there was always that concurrent thread of going. It's 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 fine. It, well, it's okay. In my it, you know my glossary, it's okay. Yeah. It's not fine. Yeah, it I was fine. It was just fine. Because Barry says it too much. <laughs> but uh, but uh, no, but it, it's like it, you had that that there to go to. Uh, but that was the current. That was the thread. It was like like you said, lots of work done, but more to do. Yeah. But that was always going to be the case. Yeah, of course. When that when Konami have moved to that kind of live service system, yeah. for, for lack of a better term. But the thing so, that I saw, man, was that like. Yeah. When you go back and you look, right, and you go back and look at the, at the like, when you go back and look at the coverage that came out when the embargo lifted on the 23rd, right, as I said in all the points I made there, you can talk about graphics till the cows come home, you can, you know, disagree. I could get five guys on here that played the same Windsor build as me. We could all have a different opinion on what we would grade, the graphics, you know, the sound, you know, the, like, feel of the game, the pace of the game yeah. out of 10. And we'd all have different numbers that we rated out of 10. But I didn't see any coverage from anyone, anywhere, with any of the, the stuff that came out that talked about disappearing players, refs, you know, falling in through the ground, balls floating, the spaghetti arms. Like, I played the game for, like, what, a couple of hours, right? Maybe I didn't see those issues because I didn't play the game, but I just, I don't believe that because I think that I saw those issues, like, I was getting screenshots after the game, the demo was out, you know, videos from multiple people from Twitter, you know, followers, people saying, is this normal? Like within an hour that the game was released, right? Like I didn't see any coverage and I'm not calling people out or anything. I'm just saying like, I genuinely yeah. think that the Windsor build that we played and the coverage that went out, I was kind of reading everybody's coverage of it. And once the embargo lifted, I was like, yeah, yeah, I actually agree with that. No, I disagree. I thought the graphics were better than that but no they weren't as good as that i disagree or yeah i agree with that or whatever yeah but there was no mention of the fundamental meme wordy bugs and issues that we saw on yeah. twitter you know what i mean yeah, like yeah, yeah, yeah. like that's that's what was most confusing to me that it was like the l2 the animation system i spoke at length about you that my biggest worry was the collision system and the animations and the coming together of players like that was bad in windsor right now when i say bad i meant it was workable like that. It There was obviously, you know, stuff they could do to fix it. But there was none of the stuff that we were seeing here. There was no disappearing refs, you know, players coming out before the match with no heads. Like, that just wasn't in the Windsor build See, that I, I saw. I haven't, you know seen I, mean? some of the, I yeah. haven't seen some of these clips that you've seen. So yeah, yeah. it's like, players coming out with no heads. Yeah, players coming out with no heads and holding, like, empty bags. You know, they have their bags coming out. And, like... Yeah. Like, there was, there's a load of bugs in it. Like, you've seen, you know, when the ball goes out, the continuous play, when the ball goes out for a corner and the player plays it back down the corner, like, the ball it floats in the air. Um, you know, you've seen probably, the, you know, you've obviously seen the Narito run. Yeah. Um, you know, you've seen the spaghetti arms. Like, I'm just saying what I played in Windsor, like, is that I can safely say, like, that I, like, that from everyone I was talking to that either went to Windsor or what I played myself, nobody even mentioned it. And trust me, there was, you know, there was, you think some of the media guys wouldn't have said that. You know what I mean? Like, that would have yeah, been yeah. the big feedback if, if, that yeah, went back. If you think, yeah, if you think any of the mainstream media guys are not going to go in there and go, oh, by the way, this this weird thing happened and we're going to show you the clip of it. Like, mm. the, 
Like because as and and again from from a I wouldn't say an outsider because I, I don't like the fact that you know that the people think that because I play the other game, I'm just going to call it the other game because the minute I mention the F word, here, Voldemort. I, end up getting, I, I get pelters, which is fine. I get it. I'm on a, I'm on an eFootball Pez podcast. I get it, right? <laughs> but people seem to think that my Twitter feed is is what defines me as my that's my opinion base. That's my point of view. What I'm liking and retweeting is exactly my viewpoint. And much like what you said earlier, that's the reason why we have the podcast here is because, you know, liking and retweeting something doesn't make that anybody's opinion. Uh, having 280 characters doesn't make mm-hmm. it my opinion. Because as you've said, there is no tone, there is no context yep. to a tweet. So as a result, I think people seem to have this kind of almost fully formed impression that that's what I'm geared towards. Well, actually, I am. I am a. I'm an eFootball or Pez fan. Heart. I. You know. I'll tell you the 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 personal story that we had today. It was my brother's birthday today. Bought him an original PlayStation. Mm. Did the first thing he said to me. The first game he wants out, apart from the the Tenchu Stealth Assassin. Shout out to Shales for getting me that. But do you know the first <laughs> game he wants? He wants the original. He wants the original Pro Evolution Soccer. He yeah. wants the first one. Mm-hmm. And that's the effect that that game series yep. has had on people. Yeah. Because then we spent the next hour of his birthday going through going, ah, oh, do you reckon you could get me the fake name so I can fill in all the orange numbered players? Because <laughs> obviously they couldn't have them. But do you get what I'm saying? Yeah. That's the no, effect it's, that it's this ingrained game into series you, like... has had. It's ingrained in yeah. me. Granted, I may have taken a sabbatical when the game wasn't good, but that's because I, t- I, I was using and taking a game that I was having fun with. Mm. It's the very same reason why, you know, it, you know, I always buy each game each year whenever they were both on sale. It's not It's not from a place of me going, oh, do you know what, the game's awful this year, so I'm just going to dunk on it. Yeah. That, that's not what I was here for. My my, impre- my sound impression was going, okay, well, well <clears throat> PES 2021 is, is a half step. So I'm like, okay, do you know what, I can have a free, free year of playing the other game. Can't. They're gonna come back because I bought into the hype of the of the the teaser trailer. I'm mm-hmm. not gonna lie, I was yeah, like, they're course, going, course. this game's gonna look ace. They're gonna have had time to look at it. They're gonna have time to work. And I think you could even listen to. I think it might have been the podcast with Vern that we had ages ago, where I turned around and I went, the only way we're gonna know if PES 2022 was uh, sorry, yeah, PES you did say that. That was a great point. The only way that we're gonna know if PES 2021 was a success is if PES 2022 comes out. Obviously, PES 2022 is not a thing. Mm. So we are now having to grade that based on eFootball. Now I know that the argument tends to be, oh, but well, it's, it's a free game. You need to we need to be harder. You know, we need to be easier on them. It's like, no. No, I don't think so, man. I, I, it, like, as I said, right, there's people that were queuing up. There's people that were queuing up to, you know, absolutely, like, tear this game apart. And they would have tearing the Windsor build apart as well because it just wouldn't have been for them. And that's fine as well because... Once a product goes out, it doesn't matter if it's free to play, if it's an alpha, if it's a beta, if it's a fully fledged 100 quid game, like it's there to be criticized. You know what I mean? It's how you handle the criticism after it. And that's something that like I keep going back to it. Like people are entitled to judge video games the same way as they judge everything. And like Pez for me, it's similar to like the Star Wars, right? It's like Star Wars came out and they kind of completely polarized you know, people that had grown, you know, that had grown up following Star Wars and that had loved Star Wars and were like, oh, this isn't, you know, this isn't the Star Wars I grew up with back in yeah. the 70s and 80s. And it's like, that's okay. You still have the old Star Wars that made you fall in love with the world as it was. Yeah. It's the same with yeah, you. Yeah. You know, we still yeah. have Pez 4, 5, 6. Are you going to sit there and play them ahead of a FIFA 22 or an NBA 2K or a COD? No, but you still have, you know, you, you don't, it doesn't, I don't think it like, E-football yeah, is its this, own thing now. It's its own franchise. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like Pez and is dead. You, like it's gone. You know. So yeah. if you if you cut if you cut that line between where Pez twenty twenty one finishes and where E-football starts, you can easily turn around and go. Do you know what game series was? You know the Pez series as a whole in its pomp. We had back when it was International Superstar Soccer all the way through because we were looking at you know again the series of the games uh, the history of the games there because he wanted to know what the last one was. Yeah. So it was like or the last one he could get for the PlayStation. So it's like, okay, so I can find out it's, Pez, uh, it's uh, Pro Evolution Soccer 2. Um, he's gassed about the fact that he can go ahead and play that now. He's b- loving the fact that it's got all of the bad names in it because Rad Doll knows <laughs> there. Like, uh, uh, sure. yeah, Roberto, 
our Larkos is there. Yeah. Like he's loving it. He's absolutely loving it. So Eggs. those are the those are the memories that that game series will give me. Yeah. E football, on the other hand, is just it, it, there is you know the, there is a saying to be had in this is there is no you know there's no second chances for a first impression, mm-hmm. and that's the key here. If they're on about expanding their audience and they're on about trying to you know maybe grab some of the the FIFA audience to come across and try this game, um. I've got news for you. They ain't coming. No. Because not no anyway. I'm pretty sure Castro used it as a meme. Mm-hmm. You had FIFA content creators that were using it as a meme. Kurt was streaming it and basically just tore it to shreds. All of the narrative that could possibly be there has now been written. Mm-hmm. Even you said pre-podcast, oh, did you know that they've sent out an update? No. Mm. Do you know why? Because I haven't touched it yeah. since that day. Because I, I tried to stream it the other day, or I tried to stream it the other day, and the server was down. There's no acknowledgement of, by the way, we're doing servers. He mm. basically said the service is temporarily unavailable. So it was like, okay, so I don't know that this thing's down. Okay, great. Well, I'm just going to go ahead and play the other game. Mm. Like, it, it, there is, there is no, there's no way back for this now in mm. the sense of. It doesn't matter how many updates you pull out down yeah, the line. I agree. That precedent has already been set. It's going every to take months that, and months and months now yeah, to give people every to try time, it again, even. Because every yeah, because every time every time that they go to tweet about it now, or every time they go to put out a YouTube video about it, it's either going to probably get disliked. It's probably going to have comments that are not going to be very favourable. Mm-hmm. And if you if you tweet about it, all you're going to get in response is the messy in a freeze frame. That's all you're getting. That's yeah. all you're getting. That's literally it. Yeah. And your your game has become a meme. Before it's even started, yeah. like and before it's even properly started, um, and that, it, I, I, that's I, the thing. I, I that's a great point. I liken, yeah, and I and I liken this at the moment, and and the fans of this club will not like me for what I'm about to reference. This is basically the Newcastle United of video games, and I'll tell you why. Right? <laughs> oh no! It has it, gone? it has a very loyal fan base. It has a fan base that just wants to be competitive. They don't want the best game ever. Mm-hmm. They just want to be competitive. Mm-hmm. And arguably, there are sections of the fan base that just want the company to get rid of it. Mm. Because mm. some yeah. people are looking at... Some people, I think even when the, there was that kind of exclusive report that came out, that Konami were outsourcing their games to third parties, potentially. Yeah. And and most of the comments was, can they not do this with eFootball? Mm. Can they not do this with eFootball? <laughs> Please do this with eFootball. And it's like, do you know what? Would it be in better hands? Would it be if it went to a third party? Yeah. Because it wouldn't necessarily have this entire... Konami kind of stank on it. Mm. You could at least then go, okay, well, do you know what? They've tried to do something with it. They've tried to put it into the hands of somebody else. Because at the moment, it's it's not it's not heading in a good direction as this stands today. Mm. Right. What I would say for, as we said earlier, what I would say for football for fans is is that it is only gonna go up from here because it can't get any worse. Mm. And that's not a situation you want to be in when your game has been out for what? We're on the 3rd of October now. It's been out, what, a week? Like, yeah. it's like, you don't want to be in that scenario. You don't want to be in the scenario where people are going, well, do you know what? Can't get any worse. Mm. Like, even if the game doesn't start, then it's, it's, it's all, oh, okay, well, it's got worse. Like, that's the, and, and, you know, we're, we're going to go on to this now, but the, the community, the community feedback and the community, reaction almost to, to what went on was astounding mm. because it was universal and but i would say this as well you're only going to hear the negative voices of course because, you are. Yeah. because because and i'm not saying that there aren't people out there who are enjoying this but the people who are enjoying this probably won't want to stick their hands up like that's that that's uh, yeah and that's, well you can't that's, no that's, i think it's it's that's a good thing because like even going back to when I was at Windsor and not, you know, bringing it back to that. But like, I even said in my kind of, when I was speaking to people, I was like, the best comparison I had when I was talking to people that were, you know, asking me different things about it was like, what I played at Windsor was like an early draft of a, of a full movie, right? It was like an early yeah, draft yeah, yeah. where it was like, okay, that section is way too long. This bit doesn't make any sense. You could chop off 20 minutes here. And a lot of it is left on the editing floor and there's a solid yeah, yeah, yeah. two-hour movie at the end of it that just bangs, right? Like a right? pilot. Yeah. Like a pilot. And yeah. then what we got at the demo, that release, in my opinion, using that as a comparison to a movie, was like going into the cinema, watching the first 10 minutes of the movie, leaving for an hour, coming back in, and then being like, this movie was shit. I mean, there's no character development. There's no, <laughs> like, and it's like, but you missed, um, you know, you miss an hour of the movie, and it's like, 
yeah, you know what I mean? Like it skipped ahead an hour or whatever. And it's like, to me, with the community, I think we, you know, they have, and we are part of the community as well. I mean, we're not separating yeah. ourselves. Yeah. Like all the negativity and the critiques that have gone back, I think have been justified. Like, you know, yeah. you can't put uh, yeah, out something no, yeah. with those there's, amount there's, of bugs in it and expect people to just be like, you know what? You know, this is a free to play game. Give it six months. And it's like, yeah, we'll give it six months. And we've spoken about that at length, man. That yeah, 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 I yeah. genuinely think they have two years to get this game to a proper state. And people won't like to hear that. I'm not saying it'll take that long. I'm just saying that I think this year already is like, I won't say it's like it's lost because I do, I know that there's a better version of the game there. It just depends what happens with it or, you know, what comes out next. But like, I think it's going to take months to actually get people to say all right okay i mean this is after popping up my psn store it's free i'll give it a whirl rather than oh my god i saw a tweet about that or i saw something on facebook of this or yeah. i saw castro or you know one of the big guys laughing about this and i don't want to be associated with even trying it and i think the community in fairness like it is it is split like because you you've now got guys that are like you know what i waited long enough it's over for me. Yeah, like time is over he, now. That's yeah, it. Like yeah. you know, I'm done. Simple yeah, as that. Yeah, like. he, he was a, he was a. I mean, this was the point I made to to uh, Precision, who was on my. He, he was in the chat on my live stream on Saturday. Was it? Yeah, Saturday. So, um, so, you know, the point was made of. I think it was from from Greg, who said, "Well, do you know what? I would have preferred if they'd just come out and gone. Do you know what? We need a couple of months." Yeah, right. Uh, yeah. And delayed it. Yeah, yeah. The, the issue with the issue with that though is is that you've got probably two types of people from that. So if you if Konami had come out on whenever the the, the impressions had gone live and gone, hey, we need a couple months, you would have had one batch of people that had turned around and gone, well, do you know what? I've waited two years. Ah, do you know what? What's a couple more months, mm. right? And the other half of people would have been, I've waited two years where's my game <laughs> yeah right and you wouldn't have satisfied either or because no. then you would have had kind of almost ap i mean that that first option is almost apathy where you're mm. kind of like eh, okay fine whatever and then the other half would just be straight anger now you know i i fall into probably the camp of apathy because i'm mm. like well do you know what i i you know i, I i'm not as engaged with the franchise as I once was, and I'm certainly not ingratiated, as we've probably pointed out from the last couple of podcasts. I'm not ingratiated with the new direction. So for me, I'm kind of like, well, do you know what? A couple more months. Is it going to kill me? No. Yeah. Uh, is it is it going to change? My, fundamentally change my life if if eFootball's not there? No. So it's like, okay, fine. But I can wait a couple of months and I'll see what's what. Yeah. You know, if and when creative team drops, or if and when master league drops, the people who I do feel sorry for. In a in a very you know realistic and kind of uh, genuine way, are the people who've pre-ordered off the back of well, just pre-ordering? Yeah, pre-ordering like, off the fact. Like, granted, yeah. you can you, you have as we point, pointed out last podcast, you've got the choice, you've got that, that's fine. However, I would imagine there might have been some people. I'm not saying all, and I'm not saying that there would have been a great number because again, massive exaggerations happen all the bloody time. Mm. Like because some people go in and go, "Well, I think this," and that means that everybody thinks that. It's like no, yeah. Well, especially on Twitter, it. you see that because what happens I find on Twitter a lot is like, you know, it's like it's like being in a room full of people and asking like somebody, you know, do you does anyone have a problem with this? And it's like, you know. If some if one person puts up their hand, then you'll get somebody else that'll have a problem. But if nobody does, it's like, no, we're good, like we're fine. And I think on yeah. Twitter, like I love Twitter, don't get me wrong. It's my favorite social media platform. It has its good with its bad. But the majority of people I interact with, you know, I've met some brilliant people through Twitter. I talk to some excellent people. Like we've excellent, you know, we've fantastic oh, supporters. Oh, thank you. Oh, I don't, I I don't think I follow, I'm not following you anymore. But, oh, um, <laughs> <laughs> um, but no, like we do have, we've unbelievable followers that, you know, support us and like interact with us and whatever. But like there is, there is a part of it that's like, you know, it's, it's just, it's a, it's a very hard one because like when you have something that's overwhelmingly, um, you know, being criticized or negative or whatever, it does kind of draw a line in the sand where it's like, well, you know, if I go at this from this angle now and I'm like oh look at the positives it's like well why are you posting positives about it and it's like oh but I just scored a really good goal and it's like yeah but the game is shit and it's like yeah I know but like 
look at this goal yeah. I scored. And it's yeah, like, yeah, but like, like, look at this face yeah. or, you know what I mean? Yeah. It's the, the lowest common was, denominator that they always yeah. go back to, which is yeah. rightfully so. It's justified, yeah. you know? I mean, I mean, I've, I've seen I've seen people who have posted really good goals. I think it's uh, Game Over, who's on Twitter. Um, I think uh, I, that might be his name. Apologise if I've got it wrong. But he posted something earlier on where it was like, oh, look at this sick messy goal. And to be fair, when that game worked or when it looked like it worked, the goal he scored was incredible. Mm. So for, for when we talk about those little rays of light, they are there. It's just because the 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 story of it has already been written by the amount of bugs. Yeah. Because it doesn't the, the bugs aren't in, in and this is gonna sound weird. The bugs aren't a full representation of that game at its best. Mm. It's not at its mm. best because it still has those bugs. Now we can question the decision making on why those bugs are this are there, why this version of the game was released to the public, why there wasn't you know quality assurance to make sure yeah. that these bugs weren't. There's a lot of unanswered questions. There. Like, there's a lot there's of, a lot of unanswered it. questions. And then to put it lightly, and this is me putting it lightly, to put out a half ass Twitter thread about, oh, do you know what? We've seen how bad this is, and we're gonna, we're gonna, you know, we're gonna send out an update in October, uh, and it's all gonna be good, and everything's gonna yeah. be fine. I would rather, instead of you putting out a pre prepared state that's behind the garish blue and yellow that's there, get in front of a camera record a video and talk to your audience mm -hmm. because when it was the trailer for the other game we saw production we saw developers we saw leads we saw everybody who was working on that game from front to back yeah where have we got here god 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 love the people who are front of house mm -hmm. but if you are in a position where you are front of house they are getting the brunt of this. Yeah, of course. And it's not. Sure, man, it's we not even get the brunt. Like even community sites like us, like you know, we get the brunt of it as well, where people are like, you know, I had a guy messaged me. The other... game? Yeah, some, 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 some guy messaged me the other day and was like, you know, like, oh, how dare you? And I was like, okay, what? like, what are you on about? Like, I'd not got to do. We'd not got to do with eFootball coming out. Like, we're fans the same as the rest of you. Like, I mean, yeah, I could throw my, pa I could throw my, you know, I could throw my ties out of the pram as well. That there's no edit mode. That there's no. Like something that like I spend, I would say, ten to one the ratio of me playing the game compared to editing, and it's not yeah. just me; it's a lot of guys. You know, Carrasco, Fadrian, Ali, like Alistair, like is still editing classic stuff. You've probably seen in post screens. Yeah, like yeah, the yeah. game has been now fourteen job. months, like or thirteen yeah. months. Pez twenty one, um, because he just loves it. Like you know, I'm, you know, you can. You can say like well, stupid I would if or he could whatever. make a classic Man United. I mean, if he makes me a classic Aston Villa, I'll be back on PES 21. Yeah, United but you you're, you don't have any classic players. He wouldn't fill a squad, man. Ooh, you, you see, you little, you little. <laughs> oh, but, you um, see, I broke the curse filter there. there. <laughs> yeah, well done, well done. Make but, me feel uh, bad. No, like I do, I do think that people are. I think what it is, though, man, genuinely for for all the bravado and stuff that you do see and people complaining, like. I do think that a lot of it is just out of sheer frustration that yeah. something that they've loved growing up and something that they've loved playing. And it's not just guys that have grown up playing the series. I know guys that have jumped on at Pez 16 and they're as big a fan as me or you are. Like, you know what I mean? Yeah, like, yeah, well, yeah. not you because you hate Pez, but I only mess Yeah, apparently so. Yeah, <laughs> no, but you know yeah, what I mean? Is that like, yeah, yeah. if somebody started like last year and... This is this is something as well that I, I found funny as well now is because like I've seen threads go up on Twitter now calling Pez 2021 one of the best Pez games in the last 10 years. And Pez 2021 yeah. was <laughs> in the ter in the eyes of most people, unplayable, blah blah blah, whatever. Yeah. And like I've been saying that it's fair it's fairly good <laughs> offline. Like there, you know, you can get it to a good standard. Yeah, 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 yeah. Five star my club is not pez 2021 like it's a part of it and it's disastrous right but yeah. you know offline classic master league minus two speed fluid formations it's a completely different game and like yeah. the gameplay is there in pez 2021 and that's not even mentioning the modded guys what they can do on the pcs you know what i mean like yeah. it's just sick the i'm so jealous i am literally so jealous of those people yeah but i mean those same people that are saying that pez 2021 is now a, a current classic of the series were like absolutely shitting on Slam it dunking it. last yeah, year. Yeah, you know what yeah, I mean? Yeah. For the first six months of the game coming out. So well, well, that was the running gag, wasn't it? There, there was two running gags. It was EA have had their best advertisement that they've ever had, 
and they've not had to pay a single penny for it. <laughs> and then the other thing was was that PES 2021 was now considered a cultural masterpiece. Yeah, man. And, it happens and, every and, year, but PES 2021, I think, and I still say it, like, I still stand over it. I think PES 21 was actually very solid, like. Yeah. You know, I thought it was very solid. Like, co-op is really good. Yeah, it has its bugs, and it has its, yeah. you know, stupid stuff that happens that you're scratching your head, but this, like, this alternative of eFootball and the brand new franchise going in a brand new direction, I mean... People were saying, you know, give us the work, give us Pez like 15 and 16 again, you know, where it was like, yeah. and I think like the big thing for me with this going forward is that like, I think the game will be fine. I think eventually it'll be fine over time because we know, we know that there's other bills out there and we know that they're working on other stuff. And, you yeah. know, we've seen when the rumored like date of this release that was out, what kind of build it was, you know, it was a couple of months old, maybe um at time like compared to now and it's like okay well there's obviously more updates done you know they're going to squash a few of those bugs and fix a couple of issues and take feedback and whatever but it's going to take time and i think that people are rightly justified to say do you know what look i've been here with the series through thick and thin it's time to look beyond and whether it's cod nba whether it's you know get a nintendo switch and play zelda or games you've been putting off for years you know like spend more time doing whatever you want outside of gaming like gaming should yeah, be fun yeah. man gaming should be yeah, an escape yeah, it's like you know yeah I mean? that's 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 been that's been the end the, the kind of the answer that i have always given from 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 kind of almost the, the the jump in this whole scenario is that given the outside issues that we have had outside of gaming for yeah. what feels now nearly two years yeah man it's crazy you need a release like I, I am I am mentally exhausted mm. from my work. I am mentally exhausted from running, uh, you know, the under, uh, well, helping run the under 13s football team. I'm mentally exhausted from from just life. Yeah. I need a break. Like yeah. I need a holiday. Yeah. Luckily, I get what I get one in a couple of weeks, which is I'm very happy for because I can actually get a release. And that's why I look at gaming now in a very different way than I looked at it before pandemic, before everything else. I look at gaming in a vastly different way. Yeah. I look at content creation in a vastly different way because I'm like, do you know what? Do I want to jump on the three hours and 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 then maybe make some content that I don't really feel invested in? No. Mm. Like I'm gonna go and play something that I am invested in, whether that be time investment, whether it be monetary investment, whether it be whatever the case may be. I need to feel invested in what I'm doing. If it, if I've not got an end product to something, God loves Sep for crying out loud. Mm. The guy, the guy is still doing like an hour of or two hours of of e football before he obviously then switches to the other game. So like the guy is still trying to find a way with it. And some of the clips from his Twitch channel, like I saw a goal the other day where he jokingly turned around to the camera and get on my level. <laughs> yeah, I've seen that. Yeah, but he scored an absolute pin. Yeah, yeah. And I'm like, do you know what? Again. In those isolated moments, the game looks and looks to play quite well. Yeah. However, it's a 20 second clip out of a potentially mm. four or five. It's hours like stream. finding a needle in a haystack, man. That's what it is, you know. Yeah, and we and we've said this before as well. It, for for all of these clips that are making the game look good, ultimately on the other side, there are all of those clips yeah. that make it look bad. They're outweighed two to one, the, three the to one, four to one now. Yeah. Yeah, because everyone just takes a photo and just goes, bam, look at this. Look but at I said to you, man, I said to you in the last podcast, like, and I, I and this was true of the Windsor build as well, that, like, if you had tasked two people, one with making the game look the best it possibly could, one with making it look the worst it possibly could, I'm not saying you would have seen, you know, zombie eyes and disappearing heads and refs, you know, like, lying into the ground, but and you would have been able a, to make the game ugly. Arm, yeah, was with an arm for yeah. The like, yeah. you would have been able to make the game look u- ugly. And you could have made the game look beautiful as well. And like added to that as well, then we had the trailer that released, which when I was playing the game, for whatever reason, I didn't see the trailer. I didn't see the tweet notification or whatever pop up by official Pez um, or eFootball underscore. Play, play underscore, yeah, yeah play uh, underscore eFootball. But like, I didn't see that. And then when I saw it, I was like, damn, this looks like slightly different. The lighting looks a little bit different. I thought the movement looked a little bit different. There was a clip with Luke Shaw where he kind of runs forward. And I said, Fuck, that actually looks quite decent. Like, yeah, um, this, it was like a different is... look. And it didn't yeah. look, again, it's not. And I keep going back to this. Like, don't, you know, I don't want anyone getting it twisted that, like, what I played at Windsor, right, was not a game by, 
like 2K or from EA Sports, that it was like a different developer, that it was a completely different game, that there was no yeah. concepts, no I'm core. Pretty sure you said, yeah, I'm pretty sure you said at heart you can still feel. Yeah, yeah, it was, it, and, 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 and it was similar yeah. to what was released. It was just like, yeah. I don't even know how to explain it. It was just like taken away from all the bugs and stuff and taken away from what I thought were huge omissions. But again, you could ask 10 different lads that were there. I thought the L2 and the R2 of the sharp kick and the manual pressing and defending I thought they made a huge difference like to the game because if you're just focusing on like what works and what you're saying there about Sep having clips, I've seen Laza post clips, I've seen other people post clips and where it's yeah, like, yeah, yeah, it actually looks pretty decent. Like, you know, you can't you can't ping the ball around. I'm not talking about ping pong passing like, you know, triangles like meta overpowered stuff like five star, you know, Santos style football in my club. I'm talking about like spread the ball, catching your opponent out of position after he's bombarding forward and catch him out of position with a really powerful driven cross, like across the pitch. You can't do that in this release because the, the feature isn't there. Um, and it does change the setup a little bit that it's more about, I think, I think it's more about now that like all of that is obsolete really because, you know, you could do everything right and then your player could come out and you know it might as well be spider-man that you're playing against because his hands are going everywhere and there's like yeah it's like and that, and mr fucking it. yeah do you know and it's like there's it. no it's reward just... there because the collision system is actually so bad in this release that it's like you just can't explain it you're going into replay yeah. and you're like how does greenwood's arm not dislocate from his socket and why isn't he being brought into that to the, to the hospital you know what i yeah. mean it's like yeah, yeah yeah and that's and that and that in itself is 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 kind of the, the the main kind of symptom of this is no matter what re, rep, you know repairable damage there is mm. some people were even questioning the base of this in the sense of even yeah. if you took out like for example when i played though that you know the two and a half hours that i had even whilst i was on the phone to you i had parts where i even said to you yeah i yeah, remember yeah you kind of see what they're doing but then when you'd play a pass like out to i think it was wamba saka i played it out to and it's a it's a five yard pass. Mm. It's literally p rolling towards him. Mm -hmm. uh, p rolling for those who don't know that term. It's literally just rolling along the floor. It's it's no no pace of the ball whatsoever. And I'm selecting Wambasak. I'm like, oh, okay, well he's gonna collect the ball. Oh, okay, he's not collected. Oh oh, the ball's going for a throw. Yeah, that's a very bad bug. And throw. I went and I literally said to you, I was like, what is this lock on system? Mm. So for me, in terms of the pacing of the game, didn't feel great. Yeah. Um. The lock-on system didn't feel great mm. because your player, whether that's a symptom of what we've seen in the trailers, whereby it's the it's the whole oh well you can kind of control it before you get to it, or whether and then you you had you know through balls were very open yeah very open okay. you know so th there are parts there that need sorting and I think you know to go to, just quickly go to that point that you were making there about the trailer and how it looked like a, even a different build then. Stop making different builds. <laughs> just stop it. Just Man, make, they're notorious make one, for it. Like it's the same every one, year. Make one build. Just make one build and then post that out to everybody. Mm. Don't go. Ah, oh, do you know what? We've got this build where it looks like this is in, or uh, oh, we made this build so this is in. Just make one build. Just literally make it. Just make one build yeah. and that's it, right? And then that way, then we can get to a level where we go. Okay, everybody's played in the same build. Therefore, people can see the same things mm. at least that way then we can make some kind of decision on whether this is right or whether this is wrong yeah, because ultimately if there were play tests you know elsewhere for example they could have been playing completely different builds to what you played in windsor yeah they may even be playing completely different builds to what we played on uh you know in, yeah in, i don't doubt it i don't doubt it on on the on the set. what i would say as well uh i think it's oh what's his name cultured left foot thank you i've just remembered his name um he uh youtuber and he he's based in i think it is east asia i think okay. but essentially this whole narrative of oh well they're catering towards the mobile players that live in japan and stuff and all of this kind of kind of thing he literally has actually come out and gone actually the, the reaction in, in asia to this release was very similar to the reaction that was in Europe for this release, mm -hmm. in the sense of there wasn't it wasn't just a negative wall that stopped when yeah, you yeah, of got course to, not. No. Sure, yeah. I think anyone would have seen the negative, like yeah. the, what it so, was, you know. So, so the the whole narrative around like, oh, well, it's just it's just the UK or it's just no, it's just not. the Dutch or it's just the Germans or it's just whatever whatever nation it is. It's not. It's universal. Mm. You know. I mean, hell. I mean, imagine trying to sell that game in America. Yeah. 
No, just you couldn't. Market. Like it's you not. Know? I mean, how? I mean, God bless him. But Ricky, Ricky was streaming it, and he was just kind of sat there, kind of going like, "What is this?" Yeah. And it's, we were all the we same. Did. I think it was a universal thing where it was like, even if you were like the biggest optimist, right? Like I, I am an optimist. Like, like you. Uh, yeah, like, like you, me. Yeah, I am yeah. the biggest optimist, <laughs> and I always will be. In terms of, like. I want Pez to succeed, like, it, because it's a game. Again, I have that, like, affection towards it where mm -hmm. it goes beyond just running a website or it goes ru beyond running a yeah, Twitter yeah, yeah. or it goes beyond editing and it goes beyond all of that stuff. It's like, I don't think people understand and I don't expect people to understand, but, like, you know, I speak to people on a daily basis, which is about Pez. I've met people through Pez that I speak to, like, as friends, like, proper friends. Like, I've you know, been over to Florida and I met Ricky over there. Like I've, you know, I, I, I play Warzone most night with Cara and two of his Spanish, his Spanish friends, you know, met Cara through Pez. Like I play do with they, Sophie a lot. they all crash uh, helicopters the same mm, way? Nah, one of them does. Nah. Oh, one yeah, of them Yeah, one of them's oh, worse okay. than Carrasco. The other guy is We're not going to name them though, right? We're not no, 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 no I won't name them just in case. Can't do that. But like, that's the thing. It's like, it, it, it goes beyond. And like, even the girlfriend is always saying to me, like, you know, she said like, oh, you've met some really good people through, you know, Pez and whatever. But that also doesn't mean that we can't criticize the game and say that, like, look, this is not good enough. It's way off the mark. But if, in if we... saying that, right, I think myself, you made a very good point there, man, of, like, you know, put out a, put out a build, right, and let it loose on the public, let it loose in private playtests all over the world, whatever, whatever you want to do, right? Just put it out and let people Keep decide. It, it still won't be... Want. Some people still won't like it what i played at windsor you know what i mean like you might not like what i played at windsor it might not have been for you yeah but technically it was a better version of the game right but you still might not have liked it. Yeah. it you know it's it's not like this is just a thing where it's like oh this is the final straw for me that like you know i'm done with you know e-football now whatever i'm before i've even started it's like you know it's okay not to like the direction that they're going in because even though it still feels like pez you know you might find that like the content isn't there until november yeah. time so it's like okay yeah. well do i well, sit back is... and you yeah. know there's there's more factors to it than just like there's no master league in edit mode at launch okay that's something that yeah. i can swallow for the time being yeah, yeah, yeah. but now i've nothing to do i've literally got nine demo teams playing in a bug infested build of a game yeah. where there's more questions than answers and every time i go on to twitter it's like 100 to 1 of a ratio of people complaining about the game and then there's yeah. like one person probably saying, oh, you know, look at the lighting on Pogba's face here. It looks great. And it's like, and everyone's you know, like, just shut up. Yeah. <laughs> so back in your box, you know? So, and it's but overwhelming. Like it can, it can, it can, it can be. And even as me, who's like a, a big optimist for all of those reasons that I mentioned, right? Yeah. I still feel a little bit broken over this, even though I kind of foresaw it coming when I was like prepping myself up for it and saying, Okay, we weren't allowed to record footage at Windsor, fair enough. We weren't allowed to get any footage out of the event, fair enough. And I was like, okay, but look, I know what I played. And even if we never yeah. see that build, I know what and I then, played. And that's it. Yeah. But and then and then and then on top of that, then you then had the uh, well, nobody had footage to then go and but yeah. nobody had yeah. any footage to then go. So then it was almost the case of then, well, actually, we're now basically saying, just take their word for it. Yeah. And that and that that wrangled me a lot because yeah. I'm like, do you know what? You're putting the credibility of people at risk yeah. because you're saying to people, not you personally, but they were going, right, yeah. Pez Universe can play it, Spoonie can play it, Campodino can play it. You've then got the journalists that were then doing yeah. their, their IGN, bits with it and IGN and all, and all those guys. You're basically turning around to them and going, oh, just trust us. Basically, what was it, three days before? Was it three? No, don't. Was it? When was it? When was it? Three days before launch, was it? That it broke, or 26, 26, yeah. 23rd, so 23rd, a week, a week, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah, so, yeah. sorry, so a week a yeah. week before launch, you're basically turning around to people and going, well, we're just going to tell them to trust them, yeah. pretty much. Yeah. And it, and it kind of, and it hung you guys out to draw. Yeah, and people, should, people of, shouldn't trust us, like, that's that's what I always say, like, I, I'm not saying that I'm not, like, they shouldn't trust me, <laughs> no, <laughs> that, that's going to be I, clipped I, now, I, but like, yeah, 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 yeah. I'm that's just no, saying that people no shouldn't take, people... If people want to know how I feel, and I've said this to anybody that, you know, like, I don't like people that, like, can't have a debate, right? I will sit down and have a debate with somebody, and it's like, okay, well, here's the facts. Here's your side. Here's my side. Let's have a debate about it. Shake hands at the end of it and move on, right? We don't have to agree. 
Like, yeah. that's the way real life works. Gaming seems to work differently, where it's like, you know, you ask, you, I always use this analogy, right? You ask somebody their favorite color, red. What's your favorite color, blue? No, you're wrong. Red is better than blue. There's no winner or loser. There's no way of deciding yeah, like, whose uh, color is better. Yeah. It's a personal they're preference. You know what I mean? Yeah. They're answering the question nobody asked. Yeah. There, there's a distinct, dis there, there is a distinction to be made. Like, uh, and, and again, to, to kind of just hone in on one of your points there. There's a distinction between not liking the direction that a games company is going in versus not liking the game that they're providing. Mm. There is a very yeah, clear of distinction. Course. There's a in the sense of, in the sense of, I could sit here to so black and blue in the face and say to people, "I hate what they're doing. I hate what they're doing. I hate what they're doing." The very different distinction to then going, "I hate the game. Or mm. I hate this. Yeah. I hate that." Yeah, that that's the difference maker. If this had, if this had uh, been, you know any other kind of game or any other games company it would have got the same reaction from me it's yeah. not because i'm no. like oh, do you know what I, I i i hate the series or i hate the game it's just because i'm seeing the direction they're going which yeah. is something that is not my personal of course preference. yeah and you're entitled to that i think yeah and, and i think i think looking at it as kind of a, 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 a almost a closer to my own viewpoint on this was that you know, I'll echo what Vern mentioned in his in his, in his live stream, which is, we're not here because we hate the game. We're not here because we don't want the game to succeed. We're here because we want to make it better. Mm. Now, whether that's a case of, you know, don't don't give us the questionnaires that that literally everybody hates, literally universally people hate. The don't servers. try and don't try and eventually essentially bright well. But don't essentially go, oh, we'll give you 10,000 GP if you fill out this survey. Mm. No. I'll tell you what you do. Give people no incentive to fill it out and mm. then see how many people fill yeah. it and then see how many people give it positive. Or better yet, here's an idea, which is very 21st century. Get people on a Zoom call. Get people on a Teams call. And get them into a, get them into a discussion. Mm. And verbally talk to people. Yeah. Rather than go, well, we're just going to hide behind this quantitative data. No, 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 no. Get people in. Get in your corners of the community. I I wouldn't necessarily want to be a part of the conversation because I don't know how much I would add to it. But get your get your community in. Get your fan bases in. Get the likes of Sepp in. Get the likes of Ricky in. Get the likes of you know Vern. Get them into a room and be like, right, what's going on here? Get get some of the pro players to get their experience mm. and what their understanding is. Get some of the streamers, get some of the YouTubers, get some of the offline players, get some of the online players, get some of the Michael players, get everyone, just yeah. get a mixture of yeah. everybody and just hone in on what you've got mm. because, uh, again, the other game do it with their Game Changers program. Mm. And granted, they get a lot of heat because some people turn around and go, well, they just they just get the game free and mm. uh, you know they don't they don't really do any feedback. Whereas actually, what would be a good way of doing it is is go right. Here's an agreement here. You guys provide the content. Or you guys provide the feedback, and you have it as like a kind of almost like a public forum mm. in the sense of going, well, here's what was discussed. Here's what was discussed. Here's what was said. Yeah. Because at least then, rather yeah, than have a transparent going, oh, like. Yeah, rather yeah. than people beating their chest like King Kong, going, "Oh, yeah, I said this about the game, yeah. and they didn't listen." Literally, black and white, you're right. There you go. Mm. You've said this. You've said that. You've said the other. If yeah. you stay there quiet as a church mouse, then you've stayed there quiet as a church mouse. Mm. Yeah, things, need, that's things need to change. That's, 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 a, that's yeah, definitely whether, a case of of like like things need to change in in terms a, of yeah. the future, like going forward and. Thing, like it's easy for us to come on here i mean we you know we we like the pod i enjoy doing the podcast i enjoy chatting to you i enjoy reading the comments and getting involved with people and seeing what they what they think as well i mean anyone as i said at the start of it anyone could do what we do you know anyone could yeah, do a podcast yeah, that we could. do it's nothing you know special that we do i'm not being funny i would actively encourage people to yeah do because do you know what the more, the more people the more people that are putting their voices out there, yeah. the, the the more that it can be heard. Yeah. And I saw a point, and I love the guy to death, don't get me wrong. Um, I, I saw a point from Ed Sutton where he was talking about, like, do you know what? I don't know why people are doing videos. Or I'm paraphrasing here, by the way, mm -hmm. folks. I don't know why people are doing videos. I don't know why the people are doing podcasts. I don't know why people are doing content because it's a games company that doesn't work the time. If anything, this is exactly the reason why we need to do it mm. because... You need to keep the pressure on. As yeah. much as I said this back uh, when it was the online, was it the the online performance test? It isn't the start and it isn't the end. No, this is what the, this these is are the, the, the tough. You're times in the now. trenches now. You're yeah. in the tough times now. 
this is the time for to literally keep the pressure on. Yeah. Because if you don't keep the pressure on, people will just go, well, do you know what? Nobody really cares anyway. Mm. Like, yeah, we that, all care. We all care. It's, it's just that some different people deal with it in different ways. And like, you know, yeah. I don't want to see, and I know it's, 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 it's speaking into the void here, but like, you know, like gatekeeping and stuff, it's like, it always goes back to that where it's like, with Pez 2021, it's like, you know, you'd nearly be kind of afraid to put up something positive or not even positive, but you'd nearly be afraid to put up like faces or, oh, this is a really cool screenshot because you know, in the comments, it's going to be like, but why are you putting up this? Like, why aren't you focusing on the bad stuff? And it's like, well, my last 24 tweets were about the bugs of the game. This yeah. one tweet out of 25 is actually just highlighting that Pogba has a really good face in this game and that it looks really good. And it's like, yeah, but you know, like, you know, you're just like, you're not focused on the negatives. Like, yeah, but the last 24 tweets were bad. Like I was focusing on, the, you know, criticizing it. And I do think that it's like, you know, I... I, I just think that people, and I, I keep going back to it, man. It's like with any form of entertainment or any form of media or whatever. Yeah. Like, it's okay to play what you want to play. Like, it's not, yeah, yeah, yeah. you don't owe anything or anybody. Play what you want to play. Like, you're, you're, you're literally just fooling yourself by wasting your time playing something that you're not getting something out of. Like, and that goes for anything. I mean, like, I've tried FIFA. I was pleasantly surprised with... I, took it for what it was, you know, I took what it was, what it says on the tin, it offers, you know, it's very fun, it's very responsive, you can score some bangers, the skills in it are class, like, I only played about four or five hours of it against mates, like, you know, locally, but, like, I enjoyed myself playing it, like, you know, I, I thought a hole in the ground was going to open up, you know what I mean, that, like, I was going to get sucked away because I was, like, blasphemy of playing FIFA and it was like Adriana, at the end of the day, was going to knock on your door. Yeah, and like, you the big left boot come in and kick me up the arse. But like, no, he's just going to beam you from the the front door with a thirty <laughs> yard screamer. That's all he was going to do. But like saying that, like for me, and it's nothing got to do with anything else. Is that when I played it, it like reminded me why I haven't played it over the last couple of years. That mm. it's just not for me in terms of I'm going to give it a proper go this year. Like, five hours isn't enough for me to make this decision, and I am going to give it another yeah, go. But that's a, that's another I was just kind of thinking that it was like, I can see why I didn't, you know, I didn't play FIFA 16 instead of PES 16. Even though all the yeah, issues yeah. PES 16 had, I can see why I didn't play FIFA 18 instead of PES 2018. And it was like, again, I saw some brilliant rays of sunshine with FIFA, and it's you know, a beautiful looking game, technically brilliant. It has bugs as well, yeah. But I think... You know, what I don't want to see, and I don't think it's fair, is that, like, that gatekeeping of people that spoke about FIFA in a way that, like, oh, my God, you play FIFA, like, you don't know football, you're not a proper football gamer, and it's, like, that could kind of potentially happen now with Pez, that it's, like, I can't believe you're still playing eFootball, like, why are you even, like, yeah. trying, like, it's flipped, yeah, you know is, what I mean? I'm yeah, not, yeah, I'm not yeah, speaking yeah, about anyone, it's, in, it's even with my own friends in real life, where they're, like, you know, like I, my 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 pal turned around to me today, and he literally turned around to me. and He was like, "I'm not going to play football until you tell me to play football." <laughs> that's no, power. Seriously, seriously, that's how that's that's the level we're at. Yeah, and and, and that that point about you've only tried it for four or five hours. I I, I absolutely agree. Yeah, I need way yes, more time. Need, but but the exact same thing is to be said for for e football. Yeah, I agree. When the when the updates do come, at least try it at least try and get to grips with what is actually put out when it's not buggy yeah and when it's actually when it's solid like what i would say it's in a solid state right at least then give it the shot because the whole narrative of ea are the lord and saviors of football games these were the same people and I'll, I'll point this out these are the same people that turned around in a parliamentary inquiry and turned around and said that their loot box system was akin to uh surprise mechanics and was akin to kinder eggs hmm. it ain't it ain't all it ain't all oh ea are the same yeah of course it's not not that at all no. it's literally not that and there are things in fever that annoy the hell out of me yeah of course there's so it's a game. like you know as much as they've improved the goalkeepers at the same time, mm. there's some awful goalkeeping animations, some awful ga goal goalkeeping choices. Yeah, but you know that there are other things in this game that can cause issues. Granted, it's the best FIFA that's probably been in some time, mm. but but that's by the by. Yeah, there are still issues because yeah, of course there is, man. That's 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 the level of games that we're at. Mm. Is that because you are playing a game repeatedly? I, I cannot remember who said it to me at, a cap at the capture day. 
because of the nature of the games you are playing, same way with Warzone, same way with Fortnite, same way with any game where you can very quickly get into a game. And whether that proves to be a football or not is remain to be seen because quite frankly, it took me forever to get a game <laughs> the other day. At least right. you could get a game, man, not like the right. beta. Right? Yeah, I mean, God knows. I mean, it was just my internet provider. I couldn't get it for a week. Um, but the, the, the issue here is is that the more, the more you play a game, the more you're going to see errors and the more times yeah. you're going to see you need to scratch the surface annoying. and see the good and then see the bad as well and like i yeah. see it i've played about maybe 40 hours of nba 2k22 like i'm loving it but there is some bits in it and there's some things that happen in the gameplay that it's like i really wish that wasn't in the game like i'm after sitting down there and playing three hours and like i really wish i, I really wish that wasn't in the game it doesn't make me stop playing it but there is things in it that it's like this game isn't personally like specifically built solely for me. So there is yeah. going to be things in there that I would not do if I had the power to change. You know what I mean? If I could somehow design the game myself, I wouldn't have cer yeah. certain aspects in it. And that's the thing with every game. It's the same, you know, like with movies as well. I mean, there's like Lord of the Rings, probably my favorite series. Like I have a tattoo of Lord of the Rings in my arm. Like, I got when I was 18 because I was such a fan. Nerd. Yeah, man. Absolute nerd. Nerd. And, like, it's like, there's still some things in those movies that, like, you know, I would change or that I don't like. It doesn't It doesn't take away from the fact that, like, they're my favorite series of all time, that I love them. Yeah. You know what I mean? Same with Harry Potter when I was, you know, growing up reading them. There's some things that happened in it that was, like, frustrating. But, you know, with gaming, I think, like, I just, I just feel that, like, you know, Twitter sometimes is a very, and not just Twitter, but Reddit or any of the social medias, like, it's a very kind of, it's a very, like, instant kind of reaction to something that, like, it's not the same as sitting at home playing it for 10 hours, going on to Twitter yeah. and liking a couple of tweets or posting a couple of pictures up there. And, like, eFootball at the moment in its current stage with what's released now at the moment, like, deserves every single bit of negativity every single bit of criticism every single bit of you know questioning articles on big huge websites and yeah, you know yeah. memes and being made fun of and whatever like that's that's what they've really? bitten off with that yeah. but at the same time like you know to say that this is it and that it's never going to get better than what this is like people seem to forget pez 2014 like people seem to forget that you know the summer transfer window took nearly three months to go in, like before you could start a mass league because the transfer, yeah. like the, like people seem to forget that, you know, Pez 14 had probably, probably the worst faces ever in a sports game. Um, and that eventually that, you know, it took, took a months and months and months to get to a solid. I've used them as a quiz before. Yeah, man. I've used yeah. those exact pictures. Yeah. Like, because we, we, we've seen them all the time. I, I think, I think almost as a, uh, as a, as a closer to it is, is that I just hope that my my hope is is that eFootball does get to a, a a I would just say a passable standard. Now whether that is a right way to look at it or whether it's a wrong way to look at it, given obviously the the the, the kind of the 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 story up until this point, let's call it you know the 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 marketing and the development and everything else that's gone to it. I just want to get it to a point where it's a passable state, and then by by a passable state, I just mean is that it plays with as, as limited amount of bugs as yeah we technically sound now, like i've yeah. seen some i've seen some awful bugs about uh there was like lee rosane oh, that some of the stuck, videos stuck in mid-motion like and he was just kind of juddering like the, there's there's all kinds of stuff i think there was the the corner kick where it, it's like a phantom corner kick yeah, where yeah. they don't take player it disappears stuff, you know and and i hope it gets to a passable state but then mm. i also hope that those people who do go back to try it and maybe go, hey, actually, this isn't as bad as we thought. And, oh, hey, actually, this is now a passable state. I hope people hold the same energy mm. for that as when they were coming out and posting the memes and posting the videos and posting the bugs. Like, I just hope there's that same energy. Yeah. There probably won't be. Yeah, um, well, it's easier to tear something down and build something up. You know, that's yeah, that's the course. way of life. Like, it's it's easier yeah. to destroy. You know, I know you on, can do I know on the pod. And... Yeah, I know we, you know, us on the pod, you know, we praise it when it's due, we criticize it when it's due. Like, you know, if we come to a couple months down the line and me and you both go, oh, actually, hey, this is a passable state, or oh, actually, this plays pretty well, then we'll we'll say it. But yeah. if it, you know, if a couple months down the line, it's still not in a, a good state, we're still going to say it's yeah, not of course. in a good state. So you have there's to. no, 
I, I think God, God, I cannot remember the name of the, the gentleman who who left the YouTube comment, but somebody asked us whether we were biased or not. And like, like I said, for me, like, I am. Did you tell him just, I am? I, I mean, I, I was going to throw you under the bus because I was just kind of like, well, you know, one of us got invited to Windsor, the yeah, other man. one inexplicably exactly. didn't. You know, I don't know how that happened. through a lot of hoops for that, man. There was right, a big process. To be fair, I mean, Squid I'm game style. Build. I'm in a new oh. build, so they probably got they probably lost in the post or something. But anyway, yeah. uh, you know, but I, I, you know, we don't hold a bias here. We don't hold. Not that I even need to make that point because there's so many podcasts historically where we've gone at stuff that needed to be gone at. You know, you only have to look at the uh, the trailer one. You only have to look at the uh, online performance test podcast that we did. Yeah. You only have to look at those. We don't hold a bias here because it's just like we are literally you who are watching this or listening to this. We are literally you. We are fans of the series. We just want what's best for it. That's yeah, it. Yeah, I know. It's good. I agree. And there is, as we said, there is, there is people listening, and you know, a couple of people messaged me and they were like, you know, like I really like Pez Twenty One. I really like Pez Twenty Twenty. Like I don't think eFootball is that bad. Like there was a couple of people that shock horror did enjoy and are enjoying what they're playing even though they can see the bugs and even though the, you know the game is nowhere near the standard of what it needs to be they can still have fun with it and like you know that's like that's you just have to kind of yeah. respect their opinion yeah. and say well look i could point out 50 different wrong things with this build but fair play to you for actually enjoying it i'm delighted yeah. that you're getting a bit of pleasure out of playing it and a bit of you know like contentment from actually playing yeah. this game you know yeah. and like that's that's uh, it's the same as anything man it's the same as you know you watch tv shows that i probably think are shit and vice versa like you probably have a favorite food that i just won't eat because you know like variety is the spice of life like and it's it's definitely something that i am aware of going forward is that like there are people listening and there are positives in the eFootball build that are there. Like there are positives from what I played in Windsor. It's just about getting the right balance of, you know, like not, be, not being a buggy mess and turning into, yeah, like just get it know, technically sound and then let people judge it. And if it's not for them, it's not for them. And it's as simple as that because it won't be for yeah. some people. It's just like, that's fine. Yeah. You know? You're never, get, you're never going to see me turning around to people and going, do you know what? If you, you know, you, if you enjoy eFootball, then, then oh, yeah, unfollow me. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Unfollow me. Don't talk to me. Change, you know, delete my number. Yeah. Like that, that's not how I roll. Yeah. And that's, I'm sure that's not how you roll either. Like if people enjoy it, fair enough. Like that's fine. That that's you know, I I would expect the same type of kind of courtesy as if I was to say I'm enjoying the other game. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, that's the if I extend you that courtesy. That's but look cool. how like we spoke I, I, about I just this. Don't before. need to be beaten over the head. Over, yeah, but we spoke opinion. about this the last podcast, man. Of like I asked you the question. It's something we might actually talk about in a future podcast, like of your experience, and we did touch on it. But like, look at how people. You know, we're coming into your stream, and it's not—it's not got to do with anybody that came into the stream and asked you why you were streaming FIFA and not Pez or whatever. But it's like I kind of get that feeling as well, where it's like if I was to start streaming Pez now, like tomorrow, and do a stream, and I'm like on the stream, and I'm like, oh, what a goal! Like people would say, like, oh my god, like he's definitely, he's definitely uh, being positive. What a just, shield. Yeah, what just, a exactly. Shield. You know what I mean? And yeah, it would be like yeah, yeah. I literally am just like sitting down. I've got two hours before the missus come home, or. Like I've got you two just hours where the game. exactly you just want to chill. Want to I could be playing anything, you know, playing e football or playing COD or whatever it would be. Wouldn't be why I'm playing the game. It's because I literally have two hours to spare where I don't want to watch TV or yeah. you know I don't want to be healthy and go for a run or a jog or like do some housework, you know, boring stuff. I literally just want to he be here and be entertained by like I was going to say be entertained by my hands, but that's like a, that's a non PG comment. Um, but uh, you know, like just entertain like by a video game and i think that that's the thing is like it's okay if you're not you know it's okay to pick whatever works for you and like if if e-football is for you then that's fine but like it's you know it needs to get into a better state it needs you know a lot of things need to change man i think yeah. the marketing you know the actual communication coming out um, I think we're all singing from the same hymn sheet. I think, it's just, I think it's, just, it's just the delivery of it. Yeah, I think I think, yeah. I think the next the next, you know, to, to use a sporting cliche to kind of almost close this out, the next goal is vital. Yeah. The next goal yeah. the next goal oh, definitely. is vital. As in as in if they can nail an update, then I think it shuts a lot of people up. Yeah. I think if they continue not to nail updates, 
I think you're just giving more 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 kind of fuel to the fire, as it yeah. were. And you know, I I don't particularly want to see the game burn to the ground. Yeah, I would like to see it, you know kind of prosper. Like the, yeah. that, that's at that's, least to be competitive towards FIFA at as least, well. You know, just to have two or yeah. three maybe on the market, like. I just want to get it back to the point where people can then realistically turn around and go, well, Pez has got the better, the better gameplay. Yeah. That's what I want. I'd love to get to that stance because at the moment, that's still an open question. Yeah, no, that's... It's, it's, it's I narrowing. want it to be, like, undeniable that yeah. it's the better gameplay. Yeah. Like, you know, but again, that even that opinion is subjective. So it's kind of like, it's kind of like, well, it depends on what you prefer. So, mm. you know, I think, I think ultimately, I think that the moral of this story, the moral of this podcast is... Um, I'm not as grumpy as you think I am. No, no, no. That's not. That's not the reason. No, the, 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 the moral of this. The moral of this is pretty much this: is that if you're an e-football fan, don't panic just yet. Mm-hmm. Like, give it, give it their October, give it their November, um, and then go from there. Yeah. Uh, again, You've for said the people it all who have already, for the people who have already pieced out on the game. Then that's that's calm. That's cool they will probably well. they will probably come back to it at some point yeah. when it is when it is is feasible, which is probably going to be my stance on it. Which is going to be well, do you know what? I'll wait for a couple of updates. I'll see how it pans out, and we go from there. It's not going to be a case of I'm going to run back lovingly into the arms of e football. Mm. I'm going to have to wait and see. I'm just lucky that I have a bunch of other games that I can play in the meantime. It's yeah. not like eFootball is my only source of gaming. I oh, have other interests, other games. I have other things to do. So it's not like I'm sitting there kind of like on the, you know, the the the, the sailor's walk outside my house going like, oh, well, one day it will come back to me. One day. Waiting for a message in the bottle. But yeah, yeah. yeah I'm, I'm just looking and staring out at the sea, just making sure. Well, I say staring out at the sea. I live in the Midlands. So, <laughs> uh, there's literally no sea here. Um, but yeah, I think that's that's the kind of you know if you are an e football fan, just just hang tight. Yeah, it's it's I difficult. Think, I now. think most people found. I I genuinely think that the big why no this is again this is completely taken out of context of what we've been saying and it's just a, a <laughs> an end an end note. There's gonna be a no context midnight kid. Yeah, of course, it. right? Yeah. Like I think the biggest one of the biggest reasons why people were so confused and everything is that like. For a lot of people that aren't tuned in, and we've mentioned this a lot on the podcast, I don't think a lot of people that are, and I hate using the word casual because, you know, like, you know, a gamer is a gamer, right? But for anyone yeah. that plays games, for guys that maybe wouldn't be tuned in to the community or tuned into, you know, every bit of content coming out or whatever, like, right? They might play two or three hours a week of gaming. Like, I don't think that it had really hit home that this was going to be a games as a service that it was a departure from your boxed retail version of pez with your modes and i think that like talk about you know talking about the hammer being hit like the hammer coming down on the 30th of september when the game came out like i think people now actually fully realize that like this is not pez anymore like that pez is gone and this is a brand new you know, thing. It's a brand new franchise. Nobody knows where it's going to end up because you know we all we have to go on now is like you know a bit of pre, a bit of impressions from guys like myself that played it, and then also the release that came out and the online beta. But like it could go either way. It could be brilliant. It could be terrible. But I think now people do realize. Okay, there's no master league. There's no edit mode for the first couple of months. Like this isn't pez, and people have actually I think got it now, and I think that. Most of the people that I talked to that were actually so disappointed, I don't think that they'd fully, like, it had fully hit home that, like, this was the future. If that makes sense, if I'm trying to kind of yeah, explain yeah, yeah, myself, you know? Yeah. I think the, they knew they knew the facts of it, and they knew that it was yeah, coming, yeah, yeah, yeah. but it hadn't but it, hit them, yeah. you know, that kind yeah, of way, yeah, yeah. you know? I think it's because for, for sports gamers, we're constantly kind of it's a yearly release that everybody's like, oh, okay, well, when it drops on the 30th, they might sneak something in there. Yeah. I mean, granted, there is the the kind of the other teams that are available. Yeah, that was crazy. The, I don't know what's going on Which is weird, because I'm just kind of like, out of nowhere, they've gone, oh, by the way, there's something in there. And it's like, but again, you've not really got anything to play for. There. Yeah. So people are just kind of going, well, i got nothing to play for. So, um, but, you know, it, 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 you know, we reference these games. You can play for 10,000 GP, man. We, which will probably get you one contract. Probably get you knowing, just knowing yeah, their probably just system. get your le- his left boot. Yeah, but it's like it, it, we we reference these. Well, I reference these two earlier, but it's either going to go the way of 
No Man's Sky, and it's going to actually become a great game after it's really bad release. Or it's going to get on the, re- the the release of Cyberpunk, yeah. where you know six months in, it might still not be playable. I'm not trying to scaremonger here. Like, no, no, I think you're, you're definitely right going, what like, you're saying. Uh, you know, I can't, I've not got any tin foil on my head. I'm not trying to be a conspiracy <laughs> theorist. Like genuinely, it could go it could go either way, and yeah. I think that's the that's the, that's the jeopardy. Yeah. If and you there is a lot of theories out there. Like there is a lot of theories as to like why this happened and what happened and whatever. Like. You know, we could be talk literally we could talk for hours and hours and hours yeah, about why and whatever. The facts are, you know, the game came out the way it came out, it should be criticized and judged on what it is currently on the store. Like, you know what I mean? Like it is what it is. You know, I always reference and I was talking to you about it, you know, for anyone that's listened to the podcast, it's like the Snyder Cut or the Justice League. Justice League came out in the movie theater, in the cinemas, it was a two hour movie, that's what was judged. Snyder Cut came out, it was four hours, that's what was judged. You know what I mean? Like, similar in nature, similar in style, but both different experiences, like completely different experiences in yeah. my opinion. Like, at its core, I think Pez and eFootball, like, are very different, but also the same. And I just think that there's good and the bad. And, like, people are just going to have to make up their own mind, man. That's, that, that's going to be it. And I think that it's it's still going to be a long road. Like, I don't... I don't think that, like, this this release has seriously messed up, I think, the first six months of maybe, like, with the game coming out in terms of, like, positivity and hype and a bit of that. But, yeah. like, if you have a very solid game there that you can play, you know, you're thinking maybe come December, come January, like, you're thinking, hmm, I'll give this a go. And then you, you play it and you find that it's solid and you can grind away and the content is there. These are all big ifs and buts, like, you know what I mean? They're all yeah, hypothetical, and, and but... Yeah like yeah. let's see man i mean there is going to be some people out there that really enjoy this game that we might yeah. never hear of that might never post a comment that might never feedback anything there'll be some people out there that will be you know tweeting about this for the next six months and slating it and yeah right you know well, like well, it's justified yeah. yeah i mean much much like at pretty much every stage of this it, it's it's literally been a case of now again we're in a wait and see scenario yeah which again is not where you want to be at the start. Like if they'd have landed this properly, and if it landed in a in a better state than what it was, you'd still have you'd have people playing it because people would be, oh, do you know what? I'm really excited to learn. Yeah, you'd be smashing really the mechanics. Yeah. And instead, instead, as we've said, you know, throughout this podcast, it, the the narrative is already there because the the bugs are already there, and and you can't. You can't get past the bugs. To, you yeah, can't, you can't get past them at the moment. It's just not possible yeah, to sit down and yeah. play the game for extended mentally, periods. Like. Menta- mentally, you can't get past it. Yeah. You can't get past the fact that it's wacky waving inflatable tube men. Like you can't yeah. get past it. You can't get past the uh, the disappearing players. You can't get past the you know the, the you know potentially holographics that people can see in the crowds. Yeah. you can't get past them. <laughs> so the mentally, so mentally, it's really hard yeah. to play at this point. Whereas people should be, you know, learning it, you know, and and that's and that's where we're at. We're at our wait and see again, ladies and gentlemen. So and we're going to be at it for a while, man. That's the thing. It's it's it's, it's now a games as a service, and I think the hammer has dropped for people that it's like it's going to take months for this game to get its legs underneath it. Like that's that's the truth of it. We've been saying it for a while, I think, because you know I kind of knew that it was going to be like this, but I didn't expect it to be what released the other day. Like I didn't. I was a bit shocked by that, but. Yeah, man. I mean, look. I mean, we'll see. We'll revisit it. I'm sure. Anyway, it's been a great chat as usual. Um, yeah, we promised you a bumper one. If you've made it this far, congratulations. Yeah. You the special, the special bonus level where you get an additional hour of the put. No, I'm joking. Yeah. You don't. You won't you get, you won't get I'm gonna, I'm gonna send you special uh, DMs <laughs> later for whoever's listening. Just you know, B man's gonna do it. You know, B man's gonna, B man's literally gonna be straight in the DMs going, "Where's my nudes?" Yeah, so that's literally what he's gonna be. That's a regular with. occurrence as it is without listening to the podcast. <laughs> you know, to keep him happy. You know. But, gotta, um, gotta keep the, keep the yeah man look it was a good chat i mean i think we touched on everything um we'll end it there for another week we might be back i mean you know this october patch that they said like that wasn't planned as far as i could see i mean we weren't supposed to be getting an update till the my clubs or the creative team stuff so it is going to be interesting to see what happens like over the next couple of weeks um sure. and we'll yeah. keep you guys updated and stuff and yeah listen to the podcast you have our thoughts here you know any questions that you have 
I think we will aim to do a live stream, maybe even a test like next week because we've been saying yeah, it for long yeah. enough. Um, yeah. Let us know in the comments below, lads, if, it's that, if that is something that you'd like to do because I did put out a poll a couple of weeks back and I was like, do you guys prefer YouTube videos or live stuff? And, you know, a lot of people said YouTube. Um, but I mean, I don't see why we couldn't do both. You know, put it up as a VOD yeah. afterwards. And, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, it's just about finding the right time and, you know, getting us both to be able to, like, sync in together, me and you, as, um, yeah, yeah, And then going live, baby, because uh, yeah. I think it would add a different dynamic because we'd like to get people to kind of call in, not call in like a radio show. It sound very important, but imagine, jump imagine into Discord. Imagine if we 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 logged it as a radio. Show. <laughs> like, it'd be like talk sport lights. That's yeah, what it'd be. Like. It'd be funny though, man. It would be funny. People would just be phoning in, just going Ollie out, and then immediately hang yeah, up. Yeah, it'd be talking Wes out. <laughs> yeah, Wes out. Yeah, just get Wes off. Get it'd Wes be off. like team team Barry versus team Wes. Mate, we'd have, we'd have to get t-shirts printed up. Hashtag. That would be a showdown. That yeah, be. I'd love that. But uh, yeah, I mean, we will. So let us know in the comments, lads. Just to, and any feedback you guys have as well. Any questions? Feel free to to come at us and if you want us to expand on anything um yep. you can in the next one as well because we probably will you know we probably will do the live stream next week hopefully just have to sort out a few more things on the, the stream and stuff but everything should be good to go um and yeah i mean that's pretty much it man let's uh yep. let's end it there um i've been the midnight kid joined by mr weza fc himself and uh you can find us on soundcloud itunes youtube everywhere everywhere everywhere, everywhere literally basically. everywhere our eye fridge uh for sep if eye, fridge. eye pillow um but yeah so hope you enjoy listening to the podcast lads any feedback you have as i said let us know let us know also in the comments below if you've made it this far if you would be interested in a live stream um because we will look at that uh, you know what direction to go with it and uh yeah that is it man and uh we'll we'll talk to you when we talk to you boys and girls so talk to you later peace Thanks, everyone